What's up, guys? This is Kefis. So I thought of something that was kind of funny, or might be funny to you. Uh, we're going into the next dungeon, which is one of my least favorite parts of the game, at least the early game. Uh, there are two things I don't like, Jabu Jabu and the Water Temple. So since we're going into one of my least favorite parts, I thought it'd be kind of funny if I started playing the game and started recording and went through the entire dungeon and then found out after the fact that uh, it never actually started recording and everything that I did didn't matter because it didn't actually save any of the video footage. That would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? It really would be. It's a good thing that uh, that didn't happen and it's a good thing that I uh, you know, don't have to have backup saves or anything because, man, that would really suck if I actually had it done that or, you know, hypothetically speaking, boy, I'd be really peed off right now if that were the case. Having said that, I'm really excited to go into uh, Lord Jabu Jabu's festering gut for the second time. Yes. Okay, so there are a number of items that we could go and gather up right now. Um, but it would be easier if we do that after we get through this dungeon because we're going to get the boomerang and that will allow us to gather even more items. But having said that, I am on my way to uh, Lord Jabu Jabu, the save soul-crushing freaking dungeon which honestly <laughs> having just done it yes if you know it wasn't actually a joke of course i did do that yes okay so uh, hopefully you've caught up all right so um uh, having just done it, it's actually not as bad as i remember but it's still one of my least favorite dungeons it, okay so we are going to come down here and grab some uh money and now uh, this is where i always get my bugs in these grottos so I, I, it's the best place, most reliable place i know of to get bugs because they're in the bushes um we're, we're going to need some after we do this dungeon, but if you know of an easier way to get them, by all means let me know. I know they tend to appear in random bushes and stuff, but uh, I, I the only place I know reliably to find them is always in the grotto. So, we are going to blow up this rock as well, uh, maybe, there we go. I forget how to play the game sometimes, I apologize. Um, that is the wrong rock, but it gives us five rupees, we don't want to go that way. If there is a light at the end of the tunnel, that means we're going the wrong way. Do not go into the light. Okay, so, whoa. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, oh, there are bugs there, too. Oh, huh, well, see, there you go. Bugs can tend to appear everywhere. All right, so this is the one we actually want to uh, to open up, I think. Yeah, so this is the one near the forest meadow. Uh, we go down in here, and there is a Dooku scrub. A Count Dooku scrub take two hits there buddy and we talk to him and we ignore the other guy because he doesn't sell us anything worthwhile but this guy will give us a better dooku dooku nut bag okay i'm actually still bothered by the f uh okay there we go i'm still annoyed by the fact that i oh excuse me didn't get the uh, what i think might be an improved bomb bag i'm not sure uh <laughs> from the goron i don't know if i was doing something wrong or what but it's fine i'm not too worried about it although we are running low on bombs and we're gonna need a few later on right now it shouldn't oop, wrong way it should not be too much of a problem but now since we have our scale we can go this way and this will allow us a shortcut back to zora's river so that's what's up we're going to go right into the dungeon now okay so again there are some items that i could easily go pick up if i wanted to maybe even a couple of heart pieces but they're out of the way and i'd rather just try to get this dungeon done and then clean up as much as we can. I did not mean to do that. Sorry, wasted a bomb, that's cool. Um, so we gotta play the royal song, Zelda's Lullaby again. Kind of annoying that you actually have to play it every time you come here, but uh, you know, hey, they, they're a secret society. They wanna be kept away from, you know, everyone else um, for whatever reason, but it's fine, it's cool. I wonder what deal they had with with the Hylians to allow a Hylian song to open up their domain or whatever. I guess that's how it worked, right? I don't know. I don't know the politics of the Hyrule world. Uh, I don't like politics in my world, so I certainly wouldn't like politics in this world. Uh, whoop, ow. Okay, so be that as it may, um, let's see what items are we going to need. So we need to grab um, uh, a note here. 
Uh, it's a bottled fairy. We don't get rid of that. We need this one. And then we'll need the fish in a minute. So, good thing I already got a fish. Yeah, this is the point where you uh, would need to get a fish. And then there's this jerk. This big fatso. Fat king. Uh, fat king Zora is what I like to call him. Um, no offense to anybody who might identify themselves as fat. Uh, but he is definitely uh, large. Robust. Rotund. Um... M you know, or whatever else you can think of. That's that's this guy. I'm sure it took like, I don't know how much how much. Uh, I don't even know what they get cloth from, but good lord, the tailor. And then there's this part, which is why I make fun of him so much for being fat. Because I mean, come on, get the frick out of my way, dude. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. No, seriously, please get out of my way. I've I've gone to the bathroom. I've made a sandwich. Gosh, I had me a little break there while he was moving slowly. He's like, if you're, whoops, I went the wrong, I just kind of fell down. I, I mean, I get it. I can identify. There are times where I'm sitting down and there's like the snack bowl that is like just out of reach and I have to scoot my way over. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what's up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on over here and now we are going to... Well, there he is, Lord Jabu Jabu, my favorite, my best friend. I, I, I've always wanted to, uh, to take on the role of Jonah uh, from the Bible, so this is my chance, I guess. Uh, might as well open up these, never know what you might find. Would love some bombs, but I guess uh, nuts are good too, because we're going to need plenty of those for a minute until we get an item that in many ways kind of makes the slingshot useless not entirely but some in a lot of cases it does uh, I need the fish which is this one okay so we drop the fish and uh, Jabu Jabu gets excited and because you know something that large uh, would, would would definitely be full from eating a fish that tiny, but uh, we don't question it. We just get sucked in, and uh, that's that's that. And then and then things just go all uh, downhill from here, because there's something worse inside, and that's my least favorite character in this entire game. And it's believe it or not, it's not the bubbles, which are also awful. But uh, yeah, so here we are, Lord Jabu Jabu's insides. That's fantastic disgusting okay so we'll just go ahead and it doesn't matter i'll just throw the ocarina on there it's fine um hi guys we're just gonna i'm gonna try hey could you please see these guys are annoying then you got these bubbles ah okay i had to slash that can you the okay yeah, you guys just stay away. I ain't got time. They're they're not really worth my time, anyways. There we go. The Octoroks are have always been one of my least favorite enemies in Zelda. They're just very annoying to me. Um, but you know, they at least they're not these jellyfish, which are even more annoying, to be honest. I uh, can't even kill them, so just gotta run past them. And I I hate running. That's why I don't like zombie games because in most zombie games you just have to keep running, uh, and that's what this feels like. It feels like a zombie game. Uh, but it's not. It's worse because it's inside of a giant fish, which is disgusting. All right, so here is Ruto, the absolute most annoying, most awful brat I have ever, ever had the displeasure of rescuing. I mean, she thinks that, you know, we're here to rescue her, and uh, that's what everybody thinks, but we're not. We're here to get the stone so that we can, you know, move on. So, you know, she, she can think what she wants, and she's going to make life miserable for us. Uh, which explains why she wants to become our wife. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, so um, uh, we talk to her again. And uh, yeah, s just got to not skip this because, you know, we care about what she has to say. Like, anybody cares what she has to say. Nobody cares what she has to say. That's why she's in here. Because nobody cares about her. I just had to come in here to get the stone. She happened to be here, and that's what's up. Okay, so can we talk again, and can you please sit down so we can go? Please? I, I don't want to be here in here any more than I already am. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know why I hate on this dungeon so much. It's not that bad. It really isn't. It really isn't that bad. Um, so we go through this door, and we take her with us now, which is fun. There are bubbles everywhere, which is also fun. And, of course, we're going to get hit by them. Uh... And 
here we go thanks for the money i guess and so we don't want to lose her we have to throw her up here or else she will well ow also hang on hang on a second hey i guess i can kill you if i hit the right button and don't hit the switch okay at least we killed that thing you come here you up there good job okay so we gotta kill the rest of these jerks. You wanna come out of that? You wanna come out of your your shell there? Come on. And then you got these things, that are fun. And then there are more of these guys, which are fun. Come on, come on. There you go. Hey. I don't know why I always miss. I mean, I'm not. I've never been a great shot, of course, for obvious reasons. But uh, I don't want to make that excuse every time I screw up. It's, that just gets redundant. Not that it's not half true half the time but okay so skull tool number one all right so boom and now we go up here and get him so there the cool thing about this dungeon one of the nice things is that there are a are a crap ton of skull tulas in here you know what's not cool is that when you go get him you can't make it over here in time so you have to wait for the water to descend you got to land on the switch again you got to do the cutscene again you gotta wait for the water to rise, and then eventually, by the time you're like 80 years old and your clothes are out of style, if they're not already, you might make it up here. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> that noise she makes, hang on, hang, oh, I didn't throw her, here, <laughs> what's up with that? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's actually kind of fun, here, <laughs> ah, that is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed she did that. Um, hey. <laughs> here, come here, come here, come here. And boom. Whoa! I actually didn't know that you could do that. Sorry if I just yelled in my microphone, but seriously, I didn't know that you could use her to hit that switch. That's hilarious. I'm um, not trying to hit your door intestine thing there, guy. No, I seriously didn't know that you could hit the switch. I was just throwing her for fun. That's hilarious. Okay, so now we gotta deal with, We actually have to deal with this one. So, that's fun. Hey. Jump. And jump. There we go. Jeez. We got him. So, there's a Dooku scrub down there. I'm not too worried about him. Crap. Come on. Oh, we made it. Okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about that little area down there. It's not really worth my time. I'm just gonna get the heck out of here. I think. I don't think there's a Skulltula back there. Uh, cause I think they're like, <laughs> what are you doing? Get, get a hold of yourself. All right. So, uh, we're going to keep going. There are plenty of Skulltulas here. I just don't think it's, there's one there. If I'm wrong, let me know and we can always come back. You can always revisit the dungeons, which is nice. So again, we, now we got to be careful because I can't see these, like, whatever they are. They're like acid holes or something. Oh, hi there. Um, I'm trying not to fall down the holes. So, and then there's this annoying room. Sorry I, I think everything's annoying in this dungeon. I really do like this game. It's just this dungeon, man, stresses me out a little bit. All right, so, yes, Navi, we know. It's a switch. We know what switches are. It's pretty obvious we, we, what we're doing. Right, so you have a seat, and I'm just going to go in here real quick, and you'll be right there when I get back, won't you? Probably not. Um, oh, these guys. I was like, what the heck? This is spookily empty. Hi. Uh, and... I hit him, game. I guess there was another one flying up in the air, but I... Pff, it's fine. Come on out. Come on out and play. I hate these things. What the heck even are these things? Uh, actually, you know what Navi will tell me? Stingers. All right. Hey. 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 Link. Z target, my dude. Okay. Come on. Don't miss. Thank you for giving me more nuts to kill you with. That's very... I love when enemies make it really easy for you. It's like, here, I'm going to put this bullseye on my head. That way you'll know where to hit me. I'm going to give you the ammo that you need so that way you can hit me. I'm going to jump down from the ceiling where you can't reach so that way you can hit me. You got to love games with enemies that cooperate because they know that they're just destined to be killed by you so that you can be the hero and they make it easy for you so all right so this is where we get my favorite item in the early game what's awesome is that you get this item uh, you use it a bunch in this dungeon and then you become an adult and you can't use it anymore which is great so that's what's basically going to happen but hey you know what we're gonna have fun with it now uh, oops 
and maybe if I can learn how to use the menu. There we go. Okay, so we have the boomerang equipped now. We're going to go back this way. And, uh, yeah, she's not here. Of course she's not here. You know where she's at? She ran back. She's making my life difficult. She's more uncooperative than the enemies are. Because, the as we established, the enemies actually help. All right. So then there's this guy. Uh, boomerang the crap out of him. Uh... Okay, cool. So we kill him, and then he makes little guys. That's fantastic. But the cool thing is the boomerang will just wreck their faces. So boomerang is nice. All right, so we need to be careful. Again, got to go around. And uh, hi there. You're back. You need to just relax and just trust me and stick with me. That's the idea here. Why would you come back out where the enemy jellyfish are? I guess because there are, like, electric worms in this room. So this fish... I don't know if he, like, ate at a power plant, but he has a bunch of electric enemies in it. He's got electric jellyfish, electric worms. I guess they're supposed to be electric eels. I don't freaking know. Hey! That hurt. I like that they're all kamikaze, though. Where are you going? Are you being, like... Is this, like, a like a bit of water or something? What the heck? Um, I like how all the enemies kamikaze here. All right, so you stay this time, please. Okay, so then there are these phallic-looking things. <laughs> Sorry. I just call it like I see it. They're gross. Come on back down. Yep. And, yeah, you're not going to get a chance. You're not. I said you're not going to get a chance. Hey, maybe you will if I don't. Whoa. That was close. <laughs> that was coming right for me. Hey, since we already got the item, I wonder what this is going to be. You think it'll be the map? I bet it's the map. Ask Dora. Hey, Dora, is this the map? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.